Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our sixth video as part of our series of video of the playlist, Tally's latest release 6.0. So we have been seeing various techniques of auto bank reconciliation. We will continue with more techniques on auto bank reconciliation. So in this video, we will see how you can set it up for potential match so that Tally will automatically identify the potential match and allow you to quickly do the reconciliation. And also we will see a simple accounting of transaction from the bank statement, how you can update the voucher also. So let us go to Tally and explore the feature of auto bank reconciliation. In the last video, we had configured the bank ledger for auto reconcile of exact match and we also saw how tally automatically reconciles exact match now you can notice here on the screen that there are 10 transactions available only in the books and 15 transactions available as per bank statement now we have to link the book entries with the bank statement. Instead of manually selecting the amount and checking with the bank statement and linking, we have another very handy option that is potential match. If you see here on the right side button bar, we have this potential matches. By clicking on this button, Tally will check for amounts that are matching as per book and statement and will connect those transactions for us to quickly verify and if they are the right transaction you can reconcile how does tally identify potential matches now for us to understand how tally identifies potential matches now for tally to identify potential matches let us click on this button on the right side button bar potential matches or you can press alt s so click here and now we are able to view the potential matches notice the title here the title says potential matches for books as per rules first let us understand what are these rules and how tally is identifying potential matches based on these rules or configuration so before we go and look into what are these rules, notice that Tally is divided the potential matches in two sections. One, it says unique amount matches and the unique amount as per book and as per bank statement is matched here. The second part, it says amount matches. So in the amount matches, you will also see the unique amount match and also you will notice the amount match column here. I'll explain to you why it is getting repeated here. So once we see the rule, you will understand. Now let us see what are these rules, which tally is predefined. Now to view the rules, again on the right hand side button, click on potential match configuration or press Alt S. When you click here, now, this is the list of configurations that are provided in Tally for Tally to quickly identify the potential matches. And these are the default rules which Tally is enabled all these rule. And based on this is what you will get the listing of potential match. So let us understand these rules one by one. Show unique amount matches. When this is set to yes, Tally will identify the transactions with amounts which are exact match that is what we saw in the main screen the term unique is that it should not have the same amount repeating more than once if it is repeating then it will not list under unique amount so we will see the example of that also so that you will understand better now let us go back to the main screen to understand the reporting of unique and not unique so notice here unique amount matches we are getting these amounts which are matching here and if you come down here in the amount match you will see that there is one transaction captured in the book towards bank charges 
but as per statement there are same amount repeating twice and that is the reason why even though this amount is matching it is not getting listed under unique amount match but it is getting listed under amount match again we will go to the rule and see what is this amount match and if you notice the other values are also matching here if you are confused do not worry we can configure it and make it very simple for reconciliation now let us again click on potential match configuration so we understood show unique amount matches now why the bank charges is not getting listed under unique amount is basically because of the repetition of the amount so the third option that we are seeing here is show only amount matches now since this is set to s yes, again let's go back you will see the unique amount and the amount matching is getting listed here and since the amount is matching but it is not unique the bank charges is getting listed under amount match let's go back here again now let us say that you want to set this repetition of amount match and unique amount match and just do away with this confusion very simple all you have to do is just select this option and press enter to toggle this option so when you press enter this will become no and here you can just press escape or you can press control e also and now it is very clear if you see here the bank charges which is getting repeated amount where the amount is matching but it is not unique and all so the repetition of the unique match is now removed so now it is very simple and easy for all of you to reconcile the matches so all you have to do now is verify the transaction as per your book and see the transactions as per the bank statement and if this is the same transaction related to your book entry you can reconcile them now why this is not exact match we saw this in our earlier video because we have captured amount is obviously being captured properly but the instrument number is not getting captured while recording the transaction in our book that is why it is not classified under exact match so you will notice here that in the bank statement it says the payment is made towards sbi tata credit card and the ledger that i have debited is also tata credit card so both are matching so this way just check once and make sure that these exact match are pertaining to the same intent of your payment transaction and if these are matching you can now reconcile them so how do you reconcile you can select one by one and then you can reconcile them or you can select all the transactions once you have verified just press control space bar all the transactions gets selected and all you have to do is again come back to the right hand side button bar and click on f8 reconcile and it is automatically reconciled all the transactions let us now go to the rule click here again on potential match configuration so we since we have made this as no now you make this as yes just press enter and escape and now we are seeing only the repeated transaction of the amount match so before that let's see the other rule so click here on potential match configuration the second one is show unique instrument number match now if this is set to s yes, what could be the use case the use case could be that while passing the transaction you would have captured the correct instrument number but probably the amount that you have entered could be a typo error so instead of 994 probably you would have entered as 949 so but the instrument number is matching so under those circumstances when you select this as yes it is by default it is selected as yes so when you select this as yes tally will again look for the unique instrument number even though the amount is not matching it will link and display the information so this we saw show only amount matches we are now seeing only the amount matches show only instrument number match so here again instrument number match could be 
repetition of instrument number so by mistake the same instrument number would have been copied or when you are duplicating the voucher and when you are capturing the transactions probably the user would have not changed the instrument number so only if these instrument numbers are matching again it will now display this option is the exact match option which we saw earlier apart from that you have other configurations also like ignore differences in amount for potential match when you select here and press enter you can set it up like for example let's say you don't want to really worry about the amount in fractions so you can say that greater or lesser than amount you can just say one which is greater or lesser than one rupee you are asking tally to ignore and then link the amount ignoring this configuration that you have done so once you enter the amount the amount will get captured here as one or ten or whatever it is this option again to further refine your identification of potential match so by setting this as yes if there is a leading zero see sometimes the reference number will start with zero three times or four times you would have noticed but while you capture the data you would have not captured the leading zeros you would have only captured the numeric value so if that is the case again when you say ignore the leading zero and if it is set to yes by default it is set to yes tally will ignore and it will look for the numeric value and it will link them as potential match again special characters if the special characters are there either in the statement or if you have captured or not captured the special character like oblique hyphen dash and those things you are asking tally to ignore and then look into the uniqueness or the matching thing for potential match the other one is that you are also saying that find potential match within a specified period so if you are doing the reconciliation for for example let us say you are doing the reconciliation for more than 3 months or 6 months or whatever it is then you can set up here in the configuration or in the route like what is the potential match within the period that you want to see by default tally is setting it as 30 you can enter here and you can specify the number of days here so with this rule and with this configuration the user setting it based on their requirement as yes or no the potential match report is getting listed here for us to quickly identify and complete our reconciliation activity you will notice here the instrument date book entry for the bank charges for the month of november which is on 8th of november is already accounted now we have this one extra entry which needs to be accounted for so how do we account tally has a wonderful feature of converting this statement value into the voucher right here so how do we do that just press escape and you will see that 8th november is matching so we have not reconciled it and we have this 5th of december that extra transaction we have not captured in our books of account and apart from that if you notice we had 10 transactions as per book and 15 transactions as per bank statement and if you notice here all these are the bank charges right so imps charges mobile alert charges mobile alert charges and all those things except for this one entry now you can actually pass the transaction for one single bank statement transaction or you can if you want to do a consolidated transaction for all the bank charges instead of you going and entering date wise that option is also there like for example let me first show you the single voucher transaction so for 5th december you want to pass the transaction here so all you have to do is just select this and if you see here there is this button called create voucher multi voucher so first we are going to create one single voucher click here so since the same amount is getting listed here as unreconciled transaction so tally is asking you are you sure that you want to pass this transaction we know that this is not been captured in the books of account so just press enter and now it is taken into the voucher enter all you have to do is just say bank charges and the amount gets auto populated and you will also see in the narration tally is 
auto captured the narration based on the description given in the bank statement so all you have to do is just press control a so we have now captured that now when we go to potential match so we will see here the unique amount match so this amount matches again the repetition which we understood so now to reconcile this all you have to do is just press space bar and click on reconcile it gets reconciled escape so we have the other transactions which are part of your bank so if you want to pass a consolidated transaction irrespective of whether you want to enter the bank transactions date wise you will see here these are all on different dates if you feel that you want to just make one consolidated entry since all these are bank charges there's an option in tally we can do so come down here select all the bank charges transactions and now instead of clicking f7 just click on this blue arrow you will see another button which is alt f7 which is create voucher consolidated so if you remember the keyboard shortcut next time you can just press alt f7 or click here and you will now see it is automatically taken to the voucher thing and you can enter the date let's say you want to enter all this on 31st of december enter all this are pertaining towards bank charges so select bank charges ledger tally will automatically total the, the transactions value enter here and since since there are multiple narration or the transaction detail in the bank statement it is now not picking if it is a single voucher it will pick up the description as per statement so here you can say consolidated bank charges accounted for the month of december enter and accept so we will notice now that all the transactions for the month of november and december has been reconciled in the upcoming video we will also see how you can pass multiple vouchers of different ledgers in one single interface also i hope this video would have given you a clarity of how you can configure the potential match and also we saw in a simple way how you can quickly update the voucher or capture the data from the bank statement also thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much